Game Maker how to create some sort of explosion that spits out a lot of little pieces. Uh, typically uh, this would be like a bomb explodes and lots of little pieces of shrapnel fly out and that's what causes the damage onto the characters. Uh, let's give this a go. Show you what I already have made here. I already have a room with a couple of uh, ghost monsters in there. Uh, they all have health bars and hit points so we'll be actually able to see the damage being done and you'll see I've made two objects here I have one called bomb and one called shrapnel in the player object <clears throat> I've already added in press the B key and it creates a bomb that just sits there okay I haven't got it moving so let's start from this point and see what else we can do with this to make it so the bomb eventually explodes after a second or two or three and then spits out a bunch of flying pieces okay this bomb we just made here and I've given it uh, stored its ID as BB I'm just gonna sort of let that be as it is and that's it for the player what I am gonna do though is I'm gonna go into that bomb object and I'm gonna go to its create event and soon as any bomb is created I'm gonna turn an alarm on inside that bomb and let's say I'm gonna make this one three seconds so 30 steps a second so that would be 90 steps later uh, the alarm zero should fire off on this object now let's go to that alarm zero and with this alarm zero this is now the point where this thing's supposed to explode so what I'll do is I'll do a little uh, effects create below E F let's do the explosion at X comma Y size 0 and let's make this a big red explosion let's make this a little bigger for you guys to see there we go Effect. I think that's a, actually effect. There we go. That's the right spelling. That's why the color coding is useful here. Now I make that explosion, which is just uh, eye candy force. And now I want to destroy this bomb so it just disappears. But in place, what I want to do is I want to make, let's say, 10 or 15 little pieces fly off. So here are the 10 or 15 little tiny pieces. Now, if you're going to do a task over and over and over, one game maker command you can do is this one here, repeat 10. This basically says repeat the next segment of code, or sorry, the next block of code 10 times. And here's what I'm going to make. I'm going to make a little piece of shrapnel. I don't know, I'll just call it SS instance create. At this X and Y, create a shrapnel. Okay, and that's just a little tiny picture of a bomb, just, uh, just so we can see that it's actually tinier. And remember, with all of these, I want to give them a speed. So SS speed equals, and I'll use the random range command here and give each piece a speed of 3 to 10. And I'll give each one a random direction from 0 to 359. And that's it. Those ones should go flying off. Now, if we just try this point, or this part here, this is basically the bomb will blow itself up after the three seconds, and then these ten pieces go flying off. So let's just test to make sure this part's working. And there we go. Okay. So that part looks like it's working okay. The only thing you might say is the shrapnel's going way too far. And so what I'll do is I'll just take care of that part right now. And let's modify the shrapnel. Now, just like we had set the alarm when the bomb was created to go off in 90 steps, I'm going to do the same thing with the shrapnel. So I'm going to go to the shrapnel piece. And in its create, I'm going to turn 
one of its alarms on. Now I could set it to a fixed value. I'm just going to do something like uh, 30 there. So it's going to live for 30 steps. And this alarm is going to make the shrapnel destroy itself. So add event, alarm zero. And in alarm zero, let's just get the shrapnel to destroy itself. Now, if 30 steps is a little too much, we could take that down a bit. We could even decide to do it a little random if we wanted to. Now, just to show you it's working, there's our uh, mouse over health bar. We made another video. And you can see it's working okay. And it's actually damaging the ghosts and destroying them. Beautiful. Of course you're going to do this because this is fun. Now, what are some other things you can do in there uh, to make this look a little better if you just wanted to add a, a little bit of pizzazz? Well, you could take the alarm on the shrapnel. You don't have to make it 30. You can make that a random number, right? Make it like 20 to 40, so different pieces, you know, last a little longer than other pieces. And you could even say sort of stuff like in the step event of the shrapnel, we could just get the shrapnel to turn. Image angle is image angle plus 10. Let's check this out. That'll make it spin around as it goes off. Nice. Hopefully that gives you a couple ideas, you know, how you can sort of do little delayed timing on explosions. Really the key here is uh, like we did with the bomb. Create event, get a timer going, and when that timer goes off, bam, create the shrapnel, right? Make it fly off. Hopefully you like that one. We'll see you in the next video.